Since stepping foot on an island in the Bahamas, Christopher Columbus has enjoyed near universal recognition as the first European to discover America. This historic legacy is carried on by catchy songs that usually start something like, in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Despite the fanfare sent his way over the course of centuries now, why didn't anyone name the continent he's credited for discovering after him? I think the best way to answer that question is to get to the bottom of how did America get its name? This takes us back to the early years of 16th century France, where an ambitious project was underway to document geographic knowledge that had been obtained from voyages taking place all over the globe. Martin Waldsee Mueller's large world map was the most exciting product of that research effort. It was the first map to depict clearly a separate western hemisphere with the Pacific as a separate ocean. He named the new continent America after the Italian explorer Amerigo Vespucci. So what made Waldsee Mueller favor Vespucci over Columbus when it came to naming the new continent? Well, that's simple. Columbus never discovered a new continental landmass at least not to his knowledge. What Columbus believed he had discovered was a group of islands somewhere off the coast of India and China. With that being said, Columbus died in 1506. And for reference, Waldsee Mueller's map came out in 1507. So historians aren't entirely sure whether or not Columbus ever even knew that he had discovered a new continent. Because as far as he was concerned, he had discovered a group of islands off the coast of Asia. On the other hand, after his voyages to the new lands in 1501 and 1502, Amerigo Vespucci set forth the radical concept that the lands he, Columbus, and other explorers had voyaged to were not some hitherto unknown part of Asia but were rather a new world, a separate continent. Thus, the map Waldsee Mueller produced in 1507 not only utilized data from Vespucci's voyages, but also featured a brand new continent whose very existence hinged on Vespucci's both radical and highly criticized at the time theory. If you think about it, this really is a pretty big deal, because as a professional map maker of the age, Waldsee Mueller is putting his reputation on the line for the idea that these lands are a new continent. With that being said, he must have truly done his homework and afterwards walked away with a high degree of respect for Vespucci to pay homage to the man who first understood that he had discovered a new world. He named the continent America after Amerigo Vespucci. Waldsee Mueller's map forever changed humanity's understanding of the earth. An edition of 1,000 copies were printed and sold. No copy was known to have survived. That is until a copy dating back to the period was discovered in a German castle in 1901. By 2003, the United States Library of Congress completed the purchase of this copy of Waldsee Mueller's map for $10 million. The map itself is famously referred to as America's birth certificate. For those of you foaming at the mouth, because I have yet to mention Leif Erikson and the Vikings, I get it. All right, but you know what? You're gonna have to take that up with the map makers of the 16th century and beyond, okay? <laughs> That's gonna do it for today's video. Don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment, and let me know. Do you think Waldsee Mueller should have named the continent 
after Columbus instead of Vespucci. And if you're looking forward to seeing more content like this, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel.